wanted to make a quick video there. Uh, today I have to make cheese up for the third time. And I have to hand over some shows. This is the file to hand over. The, these are all emails and stuff that I would have sent over to, to the kind of gallery and kind of whatever. This is just some of them down there, but it just shows you the thickness of the extent. Two coils of all these, it shows you how thickness is. But they don't expect you to go back through all this kind of stuff, do you know what I mean? I had to go back to 2017 to announce it. They expect you, they expect to bog you down with paperwork so that you don't go any further. Like, as it is, I have an material on the garden, the solicitor, who got caught red handed ordering me files. She had five years to retain me files. Uh, she said the five year was up, I proved by her own, the dates on her own emails that the five years wasn't up and that she altered my files four years into it. So you make up your own minds, why you put, I'll explain this further on. But I just wanted to show the amount of documents that I have to like produce and to have this taken taken any further. I intend after I meet G so I can hand over all this file. I intend to start making my own videos back again and putting them up. I really have a torn on my side regarding that whole Henry Halligan, as we know, all to my mother's funeral, and I won't be letting that go, not for God, no matter what I let him go. Like, to have the likes of him, like, preaching fucking morality to people in Waterford. I could really go into details, really, about him, you know, but I won't, because legally, I'd probably get in trouble. But as you see, I, I put up a video last, uh, last week of it, and someone put under the video that I should talk about the four years that I got for raping my own daughters. Obviously that's bullshit, but it shows you on the other hand like how low fucking these people are willing to stoop to, to try and get get me to react to react or to provoke me. Obviously the guards are not investigating this. Like do you know what I mean? Like it was different when Mary Butler had shit said about her on fucking online. The guards done everything possible to jump the whole defence, but that goes to show you anyway. But what's really going on? And I just wanted to kind of update and just show you the paper that I had to submit. I also have an appeal against Waterford Council who uh, removed 90% of my file. Basically the two workers that got caught searching my mother was uh, Roisin Doherty and Leo Kennedy are their names, both members of Waterford City Council. They can feel free to start any defamation if they want to find mine. But there's lots of emails all regarding all of this and they were removed when I got my file back. If you go back to some of the videos I showed you the file that I had and the file that they sent out. I even offered to put back in the emails that they took out. To have it taken forward, but uh, they covered it all up anyway. And basically, I was given like basically at the hands of covering it all this up, or assisting covering this up was Joe Daniels, who I've spoken about as well before. He's the same person in Waterford Council. Gave, uh, Mr. Daniels gave myself and my wife a reference after we were kind of driven out of the house on Barry Street after only like four or five weeks saying that he would help us get a house on Hatton. It turns out afterwards I was told by someone in Waterford Council that like, he had the authority to give this reference, that he should be investigated. This is the same Joe Daniels when I told the Roisin Dog and Leo Kennedy getting cost out of me. He told me it was sensitive information, trying to keep the lid on it basically. But uh, we're talking about the actions of Waterford Council. Uh, we're talking obviously about the, uh, the actions of Waterford Garda. And then we have this kind of traveller who we all know was being protected by Waterford Garda. To be honest with you, he's not really the issue. I'm more fucking more concerned with the people above him who are driving him on. Like he's just an imbecile, I'll be honest with you. He leads his own hood. But like it's the people behind him that have covered for him and now they're in the shit because I have that summons which they swapped, which was against with GDPR rights. They don't want me going ahead. And then you have Henry Halligan and the kind of cohorts of him. And we look look at the influence that's had to be shown on that children's group regarding the historic allegations like time and time again. I actually worked up there 23 years ago and I've seen some weird shit up there. I've seen one of the workers and he would constantly follow one of the fucking young girls up there and she wasn't working up there she was just a, a member. He'd follow her around he was telling her and like he was just constantly following her around and chasing her. This was a grown man and everything and then every time he'd have to go to the shop and the fucking mini bus he would bring her with her this, like, this went on, as I said, I was working up there. I was working on the building project, actually, uh, so the taxman can verify I was working up there. And myself and other uh, workers, we were kind of commenting how weird this is. But to cut a long story short, this person then ended up in a relationship with that young one. Then when she was old enough to become a kind of volunteer worker, she ended up uh, working up there. And 
she ended up uh, working up there as a volunteer or whatever and she ended up in a relationship with him and you tell me that's not groomed but the nepotism that's been shown up in that children's grouping for years needs to be called out people are tiptoeing around the fucking place for years I call it out and I'm going to say it like it is whether people like it or not and the people think that I'm lying go down and start a defamation case against it because they won't stop me saying what I have to say and that's for that Henry Halligan and the bishop covering up Henry Halligan. Why do you think the bishop covered up Henry Halligan? Because of political influence. Do you know what I mean? And if you notice, it's the same TD that I speak about. I don't attack any parties. I don't, I don't attack any other TDs. It's the same TD over and over again. And he's hiding behind his party, trying to make it look like I'm arguing with his party. Because this benefits him to have all these people like supporting him. He should be removed. He has no place in politics, which he's at the prune, if I'm being honest with you. But it's about trying to water for guarding and stuff, fucking catering for the needs of this, uh, how do I say, for this traveller who the guardie swapped the summons with. We all know who I'm on about now at this stage. But there's been more incidents reported there now and uh, nothing done about them. Like there was an incident reported the 23rd of September, some dope was in my car. Not sure if you've seen the video, but I went up and reported that, and I came outside, and who was outside? Only himself in the car, and these cronies and fucking following me all over town, and like so basically, I was at the window G's actually that morning. So when I came home, they were after telling me to report everything, ring the guard, have it on the pulse ID. So I rang the guards. The guards came down. They took a short hand statement. I asked, so did my wife, that this is put put on the pulse ID. That was grand. She said she put it on the Pulse ID. She left that the 23rd of September. She said she would pass it on to the detective that was dealing with the case. And now this is like the 25th of October or something. And I'm still requesting their Pulse ID. Because the, and the detective is saying that he wasn't passed on anyway. So this is kind of give you some kind of a inkling into what's really going on. Then you have those fucking nasty comments about me raping my fucking daughters like last week on social media. Like how can these stay up for even three hours? When you think about it, unbelievable. Un unbelievable. It took me an hour just to answer back because I was so kind of wound up with the oaks. Obviously, I was writing, there was a lot of curse words in it and stuff. If you go back and you see the oaks, but it took me an hour to answer that back. But that was left up there for three hours before I was taken down. Do you know what I mean? So, Helen McEntee, which are talking like this law and that law for social media and all this now, there's a perfect example of this now. To like flex your new laws there now. Or are these laws only for Garda and politicians or like it's ridiculous. So I just wanted to show any of the paperwork just to show I'll just show once more that I'll go back to the paper. Most of them now are emails. See that in order of me going forward with this that I have to produce. And obviously I have the appeal with the LSRA regarding the solicitor. I also have an appeal with Waterford Council. So obviously I won't be letting this go. So I'll just try and speak more clearer as I said. Get this wrapped up and I'll start making my videos again. And what I say in the next fucking couple of videos. I'd imagine it's going to stir up some kind of shit in Waterford. So you can like put up whatever post you want on fucking social media. Saying I raped my daughters or some shit. Like scraping the barrel. Obviously I didn't like solve bullshit like but shows you like what I'm dealing with um, but I've, I've always said that they've used the sexual slander shit as a kind of way to try and provoke me and there it is down now so I'll just leave it at that there now thanks